What's happening Achievers? Ajit Sidhu here from Invincible Achievers. I'm gonna start off with a story. It's a story about a time when it was, there was a gold rush, and there was a gold fever in America, and everybody was out looking for gold. Everyone knew that there was pots of, mines of gold everywhere. And there was one person, there was one guy who was rich, and he was quite clever. And he told everyone that he was rich. He wanted people to, to see that he was rich. He used to boast about his riches and his cleverness and how he, in business he has made lots of money. And he thought, hmm, I know what I'll do. His name was Darby. And he wanted, he wanted to become even more richer. He wanted to be the most wealthiest person in history. And he wanted people to know it. He wanted people to know it and to tell him how great he is. So he decided to join this gold rush and he thought, mm, I wonder if I find a, a gold, I could become the richest and the most wealthiest man in history. So he did join the whole gold fever and he found a land from his from his research, he found land where he started digging and then he did find a vein of gold and he was so happy, but he buried it, he hid it. He didn't want anyone to know because he knew that lots of people would rush in. He found the owner of this land who was very old and he said, Darby said to this old man, old man, please sell me this land. I will give you good money for it. You have no need for it. You're, a, you're aged now. And the old man says, you're right, take it. And he sold the land to Darby. And Darby was so excited. He, got, he went out and bought machinery. He got a, a workforce and they started digging and digging. And the vein of gold resulted in a lot of gold, like a field of gold. And he was so proud. He said, I did it, I did it. Oh, I'm gonna go share it with everyone. And he went, he told his friends, he told his enemies, say, ha ha, look at me, I'm gonna become the richest. I just found a biggest find of gold and I'm gonna be so rich. He told the locals, everyone knew about it. Now everyone also knew he was very arrogant and boasting all the time because everyone was struggling at that time. Everyone was struggling to make ends meet. People were struggling to get food on the table. And here Darby was boasting about his wealth. All of a sudden, one of his workers came up to him, running in a state of panic. They said, Darby, it stopped. We found all the gold and there's no more. Now Darby said, whoa, 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 there has to be more. We found enough to pay for all the machinery and the wages and the land. So everything from now on is profit. There has to be some more. His worker said, no, there isn't. Come quick, come, I'll show you. So they rushed over and they looked, they started digging more and more and they couldn't find any. Now Darby started panicking. His heart started racing. He had told everyone that he knew that he was going to become the wealthiest and the richest person in the world. He rubbed it in everyone's face. He started to sweat. He started to breathe deep. He couldn't think. He didn't know what to do. Uh, okay, guys, what we'll do, he said, is just get rid of the machinery. Get rid of everything. We, we gotta get out of here. Nobody should know this. Everyone has to keep this a secret. Nobody should know this. This is too embarrassing. And off he ran. Local junkman heard about what was happening because he was there. And he said, I'll buy all the machinery and I'll buy the land if that's okay. And Darby did sell the land because anything from now on would have been profit. So he sold it for cheap. He sold everything, the machinery for cheap. The junk man took it, all, all the items and took the land and he looked and thought, mm, what I'll do 
is I'll, I'll find a local engineer. And he went and found a local engineer. The engineer came and he looked at this and he looked at where they had dug and where, had, where the gold had stopped. And the engineer smiled and he said, this is a regular occurrence. This happens all the time. If you dig three feet to the right, you'll find the vein again. So the junk man moved the machinery, dug three feet to the right. The vein started again and it flowed and it flowed all the way to the biggest gold mine in history. That junk man became the wealthiest man at that time. That Darby heard about what happened and he felt so ashamed. He felt so frustrated and ashamed at himself that he had decided to go out and become arrogant and tell everyone how great he is, how amazing he is, how he had found, found the gold before he had resulted in getting the gold. He was also ashamed that he gave up. He had given up three feet from gold. He would have become the wealthiest man in history. So the moral of the story, the story is we should become knowledgeable. We should learn as much as we can, but we should never become arrogant. We should always listen and learn. And if we don't know something, we need to find people that do know because there's so many experts out there that can do the job better than us. Like that engineer that knew he came and looked at the, at the vein, that the, the mine where the gold had stopped and he smiled. And he said, this is a regular occurrence. Just move to the right, three feet to the right and you'll find the vein again. Darby didn't know that. He was so embarrassed and he couldn't even think because of the amount of people he had told about his amazingness, his, grand, his, his riches, his wealth that he was gonna have. So he couldn't even go to them to say, uh, listen guys, I've kind of uh, messed up, um, can't find any more gold. Does anyone know what to do? He couldn't even do that. So we should become humble. We should learn as much as we can, find out who knows the information to help us to progress in anything that we wanna do in life, any goals that we set, and never give up because you just don't know how close you are to gold. You could just be three feet away from gold and all that work that you've done can just be done, be done in vain and you can lose out. Never give up and keep moving forward. Guys, keep adding value to people's lives. Keep spreading the love. Keep moving forward. And never, ever, 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 never, ever, ever, never, ever stop. Because you could just be three feet from gold and never be arrogant. Let's just be humble and add value, like I say. And remember, you're just one idea away from changing the future. Take care, guys. Bye.